Enjoying the ride, Sam? Note to self, when traveling through Max's brain, keep your eyes shut. Hello, anybody in there? Are you guys still looking for a fourth member? Well, hello. Do you not when it thank you for it looks like you're Sure. Place any if a piece of if we cannot after two advent you're not I cannot if the crime tron can find a case it will reveal a new location. You've unlocked a secret toy surprise! We have pinpointed the location of the new toy on your map. You are welcome. I wonder what's in that dumpster. Sam! If you want me to dive into that dumpster, just ask. Don't go all passive-aggressive on me. Hikima! Machi, machi. What did you find, you filthy wretch? I give you... the Nutrispecs! Nutrispecs? What do they do? Max, are you okay? I'm fine, Sam. In fact, I seem to have acquired the ability to scan the ingredients of foods, people, and arbitrarily selected items. Keen. Oh, Sam, you should really cut down on the seal jerky. Your phosphate levels are through the roof. That's a swell power, Max. And who knows what other sorts of amusing and quasi-useful information we'll glean from those Nutrispecs. Glean? This isn't France, Sam. No, it sounds like they're planning a big gang-related shootout or illegal organ trade in there. I don't want to bother them. It's empty. Why use a trash can when the pavement will do?
Nutrition specs. Judging from the elevated levels of hair gel, gold chains, and pinky rings in this pie, I think we can finally close the case of Lester the Lisping Loan Shark. Godspeed, Lester! Wow, Grandpa Stinky really is nothing but a seething cauldron of bitterness, rage, and bile. We needed mystical psychic specs to tell us that? Well, his sodium level's a little high. As a certified coffee achiever, I demand to know what's in Grandpa Stinky's crummy coffee. Hmm, looks like nothing but coffee. What, no gym socks? No squid ink? No exotic subatomic particles? Nope, nothing but coffee. Really horrible coffee. I feel a curious combination of relief and annoyance. Algae? Fish poop? Rust? Yep, this tank is 100% fish free. Uh, so what have we been eating here every Friday? Vanilla, ice cream, and yak milk? No wonder I always want a yak after drinking one of these. This half-eaten bagel nut is actually made of pork, red dye, and children's glue. Ooh, unhealthy and unkosher. Ever since Girl Stinky took over the kitchen, Stinky's signature pies have gotten marginally more edible. The insect bits give the dough that extra bit of crunch. Grandpa Stinky sounded like General... Superball is comprised of 20% mystery and 80% sheer awesome. Hmm, that's down 10% from last season. Rosemary keeps wandering off and leaving this thing behind. Hey, any of you guys seen Charlie? He was supposed to be back by now. Four square and seven brides ago, it's a sculpture of Abe Lincoln's head. Sheesh, what will it take to get rid of that guy? He's not a real guy, Max. I can't be positive, but it seems to be made out of... pudding? Is it the annual citywide pudding festival already? I feel unprepared. Nutrition specs. This soda contained enough caffeine to make a family of tree sloths do the Watusi. Gimme! Contained is past tense, Buckethead.
Looks like I owe you five bucks. Why? It turns out the Bosco's gumballs really were made entirely out of medical waste. Ha! Well, I'll be dicked. According to your spooky nutritional label, this Abe Lincoln head is almost entirely comprised of low-fat banana pudding. Almost? Well, it's 99% pudding and 1% cardboard. Oh, I bet it's a secret toy surprise! Hmm, I wonder where that cardboard reading was coming from. Only one way to find out! Oh, that's unpleasant. Look what I found in Puddin' Head Lincoln's prefrontal cortex! Hell's a poppin', Max. I'm not sure what the heck that is, but I'm sure it'll be worth the horrible nightmares I'll be having for the next few months. Ah, suck it up, you big baby. I'm not sure what's more disturbing, the fact that you lobotomized Puddin' Ed Lincoln, or that you did it without getting any pudding on your fur. You worry too much, Sam. <laughs>